Until recently, not many people would have heard of Negrik, a quiet village in Egypt's governorate of Garbia. Today, it has become known as the proud hometown of one of the world's best and most recognizable footballers of modern times. is known as Mohamed Salah. He is more than just a footballer. He is a cultural phenomenon on and off the pitch, arguably the greatest and most important Arab athlete of all time. From billboards to magazine covers and television commercials, in pop songs and fan paintings, at red carpets and award ceremonies, the world just can't get enough of Mo. In the summer of 2018, I was lucky enough to go on the pre-season tour with Liverpool. And he just scored the 44-goal season. And he didn't play in the first friendly, but in the second friendly, he's warming up during half-time. And he comes on in about 60 minutes, and it was like Prince or Beyonce were coming onto the pitch. The crowd is absolutely up. It's the other side of the world. It's in the United States. But by that point, there's a mural of him in Liverpool City Centre. There's a mural of him in the US. He's become this worldwide icon. He's been on the cover of Time magazine because of what he's done at Liverpool. قبل محمد صلاح كانت الممارسه الرياضه والكوره بمعنى اصح كانت حاجه صعبه بالنسبه لاولاد الامر بالنسبه لاولاد الامر ما تلعبش كوره خلي بالك في المدرسه لا اشتغل في المدرسه ذاكر بعد محمد صلاح الدين اتغيرت بقى ولي الامر ياخد ابنه يودي النادي يصرف عليه ياكله يشربه عايزه يمارس كوره باي طريقه حتى لو مش في كوره على امل انه يكون حاجه من محمد صلاح اللي يخلي الشباب الشاب من ده يسيب شعره بالشهور علشان يقلد محمد صلاح رغم ان احنا عندنا هنا في الفلاحين هنا معلش برضو ام عندها العيل اللي لما يبقى شعره كبير يبقى غلط لا دلوقتي الشاب اتجه لمحمد صلاح عايز يربي شعره بالشهور عشان يطوله خد وطن بكابتن محمد في ناس كتير قوي مؤثرين ممثلين ومغنيين و شخصيات سياسية وشخصيات في العلم مصر طلعت يعني حاجات كتير قوي 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 وعمري في حياتي ممكن أقل من جزاء حد فيهم بس ما فيش حد عمل صدى وكان ليه تأثير مباشر على العدد ده من الناس برا مصر في رأيي زي صلاح Mo Salah's impact on the world is really interesting, and in it's not—it's not one that you can say is limited to a certain place or a certain city or a certain football club. But it's one that I think just transcends geographical boundaries. And when you have someone like that, that's such an incredible figure who is able to have an impact, literally doing his job and playing football, that, that's a really special thing. And, and for me, he kind of defines what it means to be a footballer nowadays. بالنسبة لتأثير صلاح على المجالات التانية السينما أو الأغاني أو أي حاجة من أجدها بالكورة فما أعتقدش إن ده إن في تأثير زي ده حصل في تاريخ مصر الحجم ده What I didn't understand at the time is just like how broad and intense his influence and popularity is in that part of the world like people I've, I've spoken to uh, Arab-speaking people since then, have, and they've like tried to explain to me. They're like, "No, you don't understand, Mark. Like this guy is like Michael Jordan and Messi and Tiger Woods, like all at the same time."
كل واحد في كل رياضه اكيد نفسه هو يبقى محمد صلاح الرياضه بتاعته يعني احنا ممكن نبقى كده بس هي ممكن مش كل الناس بتؤمن بكده مش كل الناس عندها الثقه في نفسها ان هي ممكن في يوم من الايام تبقى زي محمد صلاح بس هو هو بوسيبل ان كل واحد في كل رياضه في مصر هنا لو هو عايز يبقى زيه زي محمد صلاح ممكن يبقى كده لو هو بيلعب جودو بيلعب كاراتيه بيلعب اي رياضه ثانيه الجيرني ممكن اقول بدات ساعتها لما انا قررت ان انا مش هلعب في الوزن بتاعي اللي انا اصلا يعني مصنفه فيه رقم ثلاثه على العالم وبلعب فيه انا يعتبر من اجمد الناس في الميزان وما كنتش بخسر من اي حد يعني غير لو يعني الاولى او رانك نمبر 1 او رانك نمبر 2 ده كان قرار اصلا صعب قوي فان انا هبدا من الصفر وهبدا يعني اخد رانكينج بوينتس من الصفر ده اللي خلاها خلى الموضوع يعني خلى الجيرني كلها من بالنسبه لي صعبه بعد ما كسبت في ريو برونز ميدل لقينا محمد صلاح عامل لنا تويت على تويتر ان مبروك كده ملاك برونز وساره سمير برونز برضه انا ساعتها اتخضيت اللي هو ايه محمد صلاح بيعمل لي انا تويت فدي <تصفيق> حاجه حسستنا ان احنا هو هو واحد زينا هو بيشجعنا فكان الناس ساعات بيقولوا لي انت انت عارفه انت زي انت زي محمد صلاح في الكوره فهم لما بيقولوا لي كده بنبسط قوي لان هو برضه هو بينسباير كل الناس ان هي تحلم وان هي ممكن توصل لاعلى مستوى في العالم زي ما هو وصل زي ما هو هيبقى ليجند يعني I've been a football fan for a long time. I went to the 2014 World Cup in Brazil, and I was at the 2018 World Cup in, in Russia. And, you know, my wife's Brazilian, so I followed the Brazilian players, the Brazilian team. I had heard of Mo Salah, but I didn't really know much about him. And I had actually just gone to the Brazil-Mexico game that day. And I came back to the hotel, and, you know, it was just one of those things, you pull out your phone, I look down, and there's like, 20,000 notifications on my social media. <laughs> and I was like, what the hell just happened? And so I open up Twitter and I start looking around and it's just all of these people with Arabic names tagging me, messaging me, retweeting me, like all these things just going on and on and on. Like my whole social media was just flooded with these people. And eventually I figured out that, that Mo Salah had been photographed reading my book. It was kind of an unknown book in the Arab world at the time, but within like two days, it was sold out everywhere. I think the most incredible thing about the Mo Salah moment is like that my popularity there has, has continued. So like I do events in the Middle East, I go see fans, I do signings over there. Uh, my book sales are great there. I hear from Middle Eastern readers like all the time. Uh, and so it's, it's actually lasted for about three years now, which is just, it's incredible. في زمن العرب فيه بيتشافوا بمنظور مش ايجابي قوي في حتت كتير من العالم العرب اللي عايشين في ليفربول واعرف منهم ناس كتير نظره الناس ليهم اختلفت 180 درجه قبل صلاح وبعد صلاح Definitely no secret to me the significance of painting someone like Mo Salah on the building in Times Square in New York City. Um, a man from Egypt, um, an Arabic speaking man, giving all those things that for a lot of reasons people uh, seems to have distance from in, in the States and to have the context of him painted that big in front of so many people, an audience of the world it seems. Um, so I knew the placement of this mural in terms of the, the dynamic between the audience and that the audience would be on the ground for the most part and he's towering above 15 stories high and so I wanted them to have this like this connection to audience by looking down on them but I also wanted to play with that dynamic and think of Mo Salah as this person who um, is connected to his audience so it's not just a matter of looking down on audience but it's a matter of being connected to to the people who sort of uplift him and so that was important for me that like that gaze and that that downward uh, motion of looking down clearly Mo Salah is is a is a, is a huge athlete and he has worldwide um, support and, and, and fans from all over and so after doing that project it definitely 
um, connected me to, to more individuals, people who um, were introduced to my art. And so I'm grateful for that, you know, that doing that portrait of Mosala um, helped other people see some of the work that I've been doing for a long time. أبو مكة اللي أنا عملتها كانت في الفترة اللي هو كان الهداف فيها في الدوري كان نزل أغنية حد فرنساوي رابر فرنساوي أو رابر إنجليزي من اليو كي وكانوا عاملين كان في أغنيتين نازلين ساعتها أنا فاكر كان اسمهم مو صلاح وإحنا هنا كنا أه بنتكلم عليه في التلفزيون وفي كل حاجة بس حتة المزيكا الراب بقى اللي هي بتاعتنا الإندستري بتاعتنا مفيش حد كان جاب سيرة محمد صلاح فأنا حسيت اللي هو لا يعني اصلا الشعار بتاع ليفربول يو نيفر ووك الون فاللي هو احنا هنا بقى في مصر فمش هينفع اسيب دي تعدي يعني قالوا علي وان سيزون وندر انا واجهت برضو حاجه شبه ديت كانت قال عليا وان هيت وندر كنت كل ما انزل تراك غالبا كان يتقال عليا وان هيت وندر تراك يفرقع يتقال عليا وان هيت وندر بيبقى جواك احساس بنزين كده الفيول بتاعك لا انا عايز اثبت ان انتوا غلط انا عايز اثبت لا انا اي كان دو ات مور اند مور اند مور الوجه المشترك ما بين المزيكا والكوره ان هما لغه لانجويج وصلاح شاطر جدا في اللغه دي I've been supporting Liverpool since 1986. Uh, I started going all the way back then with my dad and sort of year in, year out, I was always able to make a certain number of games. And then since 2011, we've been working on the Anfield Wrap and working really, really hard to get the best possible sort of work we can for Liverpool supporters. We've been lucky to tour over all over the world watching Liverpool, not just in European games, but in pre-season tours. We've seen them in Singapore, we've seen them in the United States, we've seen them in Australia, we've seen them in France, we've seen them in Spain. Anywhere there is to see Liverpool, I've been lucky enough to see them. For many, Salah is more than just a brilliant player, an icon, a role model. To the Egyptian people, especially the youth, Salah represents their hopes and aspirations, someone they seek to emulate. What makes Salah unique is that anyone who supports him can see a piece of themselves in him. My match experience now is probably as it's always been. The best way I can explain it is my eyesight is a lot more blurry now than it ever used to be, which means I can't see as far as, as, as clearly as I used to. So at the match, my experience will be as normal, really, but Everything that everyone else can see is just more blurry to me. The original video of uh, us celebrating is the Napoli game in the Champions League. Um, we win one nil that game and we have to win that game to go through, through the group stages, so it was a big goal. Um, it was down the other end of the ground, obviously it was, we sit in the cop, but uh, it, was in, it was at the Anfield Road end, so as I mentioned before about my eyesight, you know, I, I, I knew we'd scored, I knew it'd come from that side of the pitch, but I didn't quite know who it was. Um, and the celebration that the, and the video basically is my cousin Stephen telling me it was Mo and that he'd gone past Kila Bali and, and scored the way he did. Nice to meet you, Mo. How are you? I'm not too bad, how are you? Good to see you. Thank you very much, Mo. My shirt, this is a uh, small surprise for you. He's himself, he, he's unapologetically himself and very, a very generous person. Um, you know, he, he didn't have to do what he did for me in terms of inviting me up or giving me a shirt or. Any of that, you know, he, he literally could have just gone about his day, but you know, he took the time to be, to be generous with his time and you know, with a, with a gift. And I just think it's, you know, it's a, a lot's always said about our role models and stuff like that. But he is, you know, he's, it's, the proof is in the pudding. Mo, he's just a, a down to earth fella who, who's just unap unapologetically himself and is a really kind person. Size that 
He is a dad as well as a footballer and he'd probably argue he's a dad first and a footballer second and he wants to change the world to make it a better place for his daughters and, and in doing so I, I feel really proud to be a woman and to be a supporter of this football club. Liverpool really catapulted Mo Salah, but it's his own brilliance that catapulted him as well. I have been in Spain, Mohamed Salah, Ramz, the Mosque here. I mean, just that, like, any any place I go to, or any place I'm traveling, when we're on a taxi, for example, they ask me where I'm going, and I say where I'm going, and they say where I'm going, and they say where I'm going, and they say where I'm going. يقول لي هو مو صلاح على طول يعني هم هم يعني كان مصر دي يعني محمد صلاح من الطبيعي جدا ان اي حد لما يقول مصر وانا عشتها لما كنت في روسيا الناس كانت تشوفني اول حاجه انت مصري الاهرامات محمد صلاح Football by far has been the most popular sport in Egypt. For decades, the beautiful game united Egyptians amidst turmoil. Egypt's 2006, 2008 and 2010 AFCON streak is unmatchable. However, they struggled for almost 30 years to qualify for the World Cup. مصر بلد شعبها بيتنفس كوره يعني لو قطعت ايدينا كده هتلاقي مش دم هتلاقي كوره وده واحد طبعا من اهم الماتشات لو ما كانش اهم واحد رحته في حياتي اخر مره كنا صعدنا فيها كاس عالم كان سنه 90 كنت عيل صغير ولسه لغايه دلوقتي فاكر اللحظه كده طشاش لما مجدي عبد الغني جاب الجول والناس احتفلت والشوارع اتقفلت وكده بعدها عشنا مآسي بس كاس العالم بالنسبه للمشجع المصري اللي هو الشعب المصري حاجه كبيره قوي وعقده كبيره قوي مش عارفين نفكها مش الطبيعي ان وانا بكبر وانا بشجع بلد او منتخب زي مصر منتخب كبير جدا اكتر بلد واخده بطولات افريقيه على مستوى المنتخبات او الانديه ان انا ما بقاش بروح كاس العالم فالموضوع كان عقده عقده حقيقيه فده كان حلم انا عايز لاعب يحترف وينجح في اوروبا ويودينا كاس العالم النقطه اللي اهم بقى بكتير هي لقطه البنالتي ركله الجزاء حكم صفر حسب ركله الجزاء الملعب كله بيحتفل 100000 متفرج بيحتفل 100 مليون واحد بره الاستاد في مصر بيحتفل اللعيبه اللي على الدكه نزلت الملعب المدرب بيحتفل اللعيبه اللي داخل الملعب بيحتفلوا وفي لقطه وكله بيحتفل صلاح واقف ورا لوحده وموطي كده ماسك ركبته لان كله بيحتفل ان ركله الجزاء جت بس هو عارف في اللحظه دي ان هو اللي هيشوطها فمسؤوليه حلم ال مليون مصري وال 28 سنه لعنة اللي فاتوا محطوطه كلها في ركله جزاء واحده. واعظم لعيبه كوره جم في تاريخ اللعبه ياما ضيعوا ركلات جزاء حاسمه. تسجيل ركلة الجزاء دي كان معناها إن صلاح أصبح في اللحظة دي بطل قومي لمصر. محمد بدأ حياته الرياضية أو بدأ يعني هو كطفل نشأ في أسرة والده كان لاعب كورة، عمه كان لاعب كورة، خاله كان لاعب كورة، وبالتالي محمد يمكن عنده جينات إن هو يكون لاعب كورة. 
وهو طفل صغير فعلا بدا يداعب الكوره بشكل جميل برجله الشمال فابوه بحكم ان هو يعني كان لاعب كوره وعم وخاله فبداوا ينظروا له لمحمد ان هو فعلا ممكن يكون حاجه محمد صلاح كان دايما سكوته كان غالب عليه كان دايما قاعد في حاله فيما بس وقت اللعب بس وقت ممارسه الكوره كان بيحب دايما الكوره كان بيحب دايما يلعب مع زمايله في الشارع في البيت في الملعب بتاع المدرسه تقدر تسمع صوت محمد صلاح بس في الملعب غير كده ما كنتش بتسمع محمد صلاح خالص بالنسبه للتاثر وازاي الشباب الصغير والكبير بيتاثر بال الببليك فيجرز او الناس اللي بيحبوهم القدوه بالنسبه لهم هي ما هي الا حاجه ان هي بتعبر عن الحب الحب اللي هو الجينيون الناتشرال الطبيعي حب صادق يعني فمن كتر حبك للشخص انت بتبقى عايز تعمل الحاجات اللي زي اللي هو بيعملها اللبس بتاعه الستايل بتاع شعره انا فاكر برضو وانا صغير لما كنت بسمع مغني راب او حاجه او بسمع حد معين كنت اشوف الجزمه اللي هو لابسها اه لازم اجيب الجزمه دي جوست عشان انا بحب الشخص دوت او متاثر بيه او هو قدوه بالنسبه لي هو الموقف في الاول اللي هو باين لي مثلا الاطفال الصغيره مثلا والناس عارفين ان انا شبه محمد صلاح او مش محمد صلاح فبيحبوني فرسم لي صورته بقى جوه الناس اللي هو ازاي محمد صلاح عندهم ما بالك واحد شبهه بس يعملوا معاه كده طب صلاح ذات نفسه عمل يخليهم يوصلوا لدرجه الحب دي صلاح غير نظرتي للواقع اللي انا عايش فيه كحياتي انا اصلا اللي انا ما يأس من حياتي اللي انا دايما يبقى عندي اصرار وعزيمه ما استسلمش دايما حافظ على صحتي من اي حاجه مضره first major star from Egypt you know capturing the minds of so many young people in that part of the world um, battling through so many setbacks and challenges and and just doing it with grace uh, and a smile on his face like I mean it's it's a joy to watch him and to me he's a great role model of, of how to deal with all these pressures I think the people who I'm attracted to create of and around are people who I wouldn't mind seeing myself reflected in or wouldn't mind finding versions of themselves that I relate to or even more importantly that I would want to be like. Many congratulations to this year's winner. It's Mo Salah. Good evening, everyone. Nothing to say much about that, but I'm very happy and very proud. I have to thank everyone who voted for me and looking forward for another award tonight. Thank you. The people feel that they have reached a point in something special and they start to get out or start to see themselves. بس هو ازاي ان كل ما بيكسر حواجز عمر ما حد تخيل ان في لاعب مصري ممكن يكسرها بيجدد الحافز بتاعه تاني علشان يكسر حواجز اكبر ويحط لنفسه تحديات اكبر ويحاول ان هو يكسرها It's absolutely incredible to have Mohamed Salah as he is now in this kit. Having seen Liverpool for as many years as I have, and being around the world seeing them, I want Liverpool, I want Liverpool the city, Liverpool the football club, to be the best possible version of itself that it can be. I want the world to talk about Liverpool Football Club and Liverpool the city. I want it to be larger than life. I want people to come from all over the globe to see Liverpool Football Club. To do that, you need to have the best players. And I'd say for Liverpool, you also need to have very, very good people. 
and in Mo Salah there's this wonderful person who's become in lots of senses an ambassador for Liverpool he's an ambassador for many things but he's ambassador for Liverpool the city Liverpool the football club but also Liverpool the city this is a place where this incredible individual has got to excel and for me that's what's so special about Mo Salah he's one of ours and there'll be a lot of people through this video and through this film who want Mo Salah to be one of theirs and that's allowed you know we can all there's a lot of Mo Salah to go around we can share them out but Mo Salah is one of ours and that's what makes me so proud and it's one of the things that makes Liverpool great أنا كنت بحس إن هو بيعمل حاجة exceptional يعني إن هو مش بي مش بس بي, بي يعني مش بس هو بقى يعني توب لا هو بي يعني بي excel في الحاجة اللي هو فيها هو عمل يعني مش عارفة أقول هو أحسن من التوب يعني يعني هو مش مثلا لما بيجيب جوان بيجيبها بس كده لا بيجيبها بحرفنة يعني أو بيجيبها بطريقة حلوة و والناس كلها بتحبه والناس كلها يعني شايفة قدوة ليها محمد صلاح في بساطة مهما وصل ومهما علي في أصوله بسيطة قريب قوي قوي من الناس ودايما الناس بتحس إن هو واحد منهم وده بي والناس بتشوف ده كويس قوي مهما أنت كنت بتقف قدام كاميرا أو بتقف قدام شاشة أو بتبقى في الملعب بس الناس بتشوف فيك نفسها فقصة صلاح كلها وشخصيته وتركيبته سهل قوي إن الواحد يشوف فيها نفسه If I had to describe Mo Salah in one word, it would be humility. Hero. A spark for others. Fech. Thank you for being uh, an inspiration. The best footballer ever and the person that we admire so very much.